So what is the whipping motion in golf? How do you get this head moving 100 miles an hour? We know that when you swing your club and you hit the ball 300 yards, that the club head is moving about 100 miles an hour. How can you get it moving that quick? We know you can't move your hands 100 miles an hour. Uh, just not going to work. But you can take advantage of, just like the whip, of that kinetic chain. You know, with a whip, when it cracks, that means you've got the tip moving faster than the speed of sound. The way you get speed with a golf club is also use that kinetic chain and kind of a whipping motion so energy moves through your body, gets out to the head, actually out to the toe of this head. When it's all that energy is stored here, then it will be moving as fast as possible. In golf, you have to turn your body into a whip. Just like a whip, you have to let the energy flow through that kinetic chain so each chain, which is a lever, can multiply the energy to help you speed up your swing. The kinetic chain in the golf swing is, or the downswing is, you turn, your arms drop, the toe drops, toe turns, and then the toe pulls you through follow through. That's the kinetic chain in the golf swing. It all starts with the body turn. Again, it starts out, your body or core turns, your arms drop, the head drops, the energy moves and the toe pulls it around and it pulls you through the follow through. That's the kinetic chain in the golf swing. And each of those moves that happen also multiplies the energy as energy moves through that chain. Now the main way you can assist this whipping motion is to get out of the way. Get out of the way of it. Most of the advice you get for the golf swing that pertains to your arms and your hands just gets in the way of this natural motion. For this whipping motion to work, for this kinetic chain stuff to work, your arms and hands and wrists need to be loose like a whip. You tighten up if you start trying to do stuff, you're just getting in the way of that natural motion, you're actually slowing it down. Now I can't emphasize enough that you have to not break the kinetic chain by trying to do something with your arms or your hands in the middle of your swing. I don't care what you're trying to manipulate, turn your hands over or whatever, using your arms or hands in the chain will break it. Think of it this way. Let's say this was a whip and I was trying to crack it. So if I just try to crack it, it's going to do that. But what if I grab the whip in the middle and then try to swing it and crack it? What happens? Well, nothing happens. This hand on it breaks the kinetic chain. It's the same with your golf swing. This natural kinetic chain movement, is going to do its own thing, but if I try to do something with my arms in the middle while I'm doing the chain, it's just going to break the chain.